OpenAI, the startup behind ChatGPT, is reportedly looking to raise new funds at 80 to 90 billion dollars of valuation, roughly triple its level from just a few months ago. Dear Drabosa digs into that for today's tech check. That's a big number, D. It's a huge number. It's an up round, right? So it tells us that generative AI still red hot. OpenAI might also tell us that the disconnect in public and private markets is back, or maybe it never even left. On the public front, just look at the mega cap tech this month. NVIDIA has lost 13 percent of its value. Amazon and Apple, 10 percent each. The magnificent seven that led markets higher this year, they are now the weak spots. And a big part of the reason is rising Treasury yields, which makes future profits worth less. But big tech is already hugely profitable. It is the up-and-comers, the still private, unprofitable tech companies that rising yields should hit harder. Not for OpenAI, though. The Journal reports that it is in talks to raise money at an up to $90 billion valuation on a billion dollars in revenue expected this year. And I want to put into context just how rich that is through a simple multiple, valuation to sales. It's all we really have since OpenAI doesn't disclose finances, but we do know from the journal that it's expecting about a billion this year. So at that $90 billion valuation, investors, they would be paying $90 for each dollar of revenue generated this year. And that makes OpenAI more expensive by this metric than the biggest tech companies listed on the public market. It is miles ahead of NVIDIA, whose valuation to sales clocks in at 19 times. And even Microsoft, which owns 49 percent of OpenAI, is at a mere 10 times valuation to sales multiple. Now, this shouldn't be a major surprise. Startups, especially buzzy startups, often get higher multiples. But there are huge risks and trade-offs, especially with Treasury yields offering an attractive, safer place to get a return right now. A lot has to go right for OpenAI. It is putting out the most interesting generative AI applications. I don't think anyone would argue with that. We saw just in the last week voice and image prompts and chat GPT, but monetizing it, that will be a different proposition. It's where others have struggled. And OpenAI has the biggest tech companies like Google and Meta hot on its heels. Meta just yesterday announcing dozens of new products. So OpenAI may need even bigger ambitions. And guys, there are reports going around that could fit that bill. The information in the Financial Times reports that Sam Altman has tapped former Apple designer Sir Johnny Ive and SoftBank's very well-capitalized Mashiosti son to launch a venture to build a consumer device, the, quote, iPhone of artificial intelligence. And Courtney and Carl, that would bring OpenAI into a, definitely a very different stratosphere. It would make that revenue picture very different, again, in the future. And a lot has to go right. So that not, up to $90 billion valuation, it's kind of eye-popping no matter how you look at it.